My name is Moritz Scholtisig and I am from Berlin, Germany. My name is Miriam Michlebast. I'm from, from Norway, but I live in France. I'm Valeria Vogler-Deinhardstein. I'm an Austro-Italian entrepreneur. Yeah, it was great. Um, great opportunity for us to present um, our company and um, find fellow Christians who might um, invest also and mentor us to do the next step. On October the 14th, hopeful businesses and NGOs gathered in a boardroom at the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross in Rome to present their ideas to investors. However, these were not your typical startup pitches, nor were the investors the usual businessmen you'd find on the hit TV show Shark Tank. This was a Catholic Shark Tank, and the startup founders were an eclectic group of contestants from around the world. My name is Samuel Samaroga. I'm born and raised in Geneva, Switzerland. My full name is Fran Reisel. Uh, I come from Zagreb, Croatia pitching my uh, startup project, which is a company that deals with uh, naturally more delicious snacks, uh, meaning a healthy alternative and uh, products that are wrapped in compostable packaging. But how do business and investment align with Catholic social teaching? Pope Francis has specifically addressed this with his prayer intentions, focusing on small businesses, fulfilling their social responsibility of generating opportunities and work. Catholic Shark Tank was organized by the Acton Institute, a think tank focused on promoting free market principles and Christian virtues. The idea was the brainchild of Michael Severance, the director of the Acton Institute's Rome office. We wanted to bring together in an encounter, as Pope Francis has always uh, asked us to do in his charism, in a meeting. And here we're having entrepreneurs who, in their small and medium enterprises, meet with large enterprises in terms of finance and seeking not only advice but actually a real-time investment into their into their affairs. One of the investors present at the event is the head of the Catholic Incubator, Father Andrew Lesko. We asked him about the importance of the church's involvement in business. And you know morality and ethics are a huge part of business. They're a very necessary part of business, and it's a part of business that unfortunately is lacking in today's secular age. And so today we're encouraging people to live out their vocation and to live out morality and ethics in all of their business endeavors. 